Hello everyone and welcome to Crystal's Crochet Cubby Hole. Uh, sorry, I forgot. I wasn't realizing it was starting to record already. <laughs> I've got some foes to show you today. First off is my um, Hugs and Kisses shawl by Creative Grandma. I used the Summer Nights, and I know I've repeated this, but I'll tell you again. I've used the Summer Nights in the colorway Sunset. And um, had this much left and that's it that's the one reason I had to quit I probably could have done a few more rows um, and then I had then I used also the Baby Delight by Loops and Threads in the color Daydream so and it's a yarn barf mess I gotta try to what's left over I gotta try to fix it's like it's just a small wall so here is this let's see if I can get up and show you the shawl. Let's see. See? And this, this is, I, I like it. It's really nice. So, you keep it good and warm. And um, it gets a little chilly in church, so this is something I could take to church and wrap up in to keep warm. So I love it. Let's see if I see. Pull it up real close so you can see it. But I had fun making it. I love these colors, and they just turned out really good together. And see the little little one with the little bit of sparkle here and there. So there's that. That's one finished object. Now the other finished object that I have is let's lay my notes over to the side is my another one of uh, the crossbody boho bags falling jolie knots crochet and this is for um a knee my niece and uh she wanted purple blue and a little yellow so here's the bot here's the bag so it's got and it ended up the way the colors went it had yellow at the bottom, and then it had the yellow at the top in the handle and stuff. So, that that's kind of how it turned out at the very top here. Let's see. But I think it turned out kind of nice. I like the colors and stuff. It's really cute. So, I'm hoping she likes it. And with that, I used the Fair Isle Kodiak yarn. Um, in the color, uh, what was it, Glacier 547, and um, it's 100% superwash merino, and then I also used, there was two strands together in that, Karen Skinny Cakes in the color Plum Pudding, so and I had very little of, well I used, okay, this Kodiak had 157 yards per skein, and I used two, a little over two skeins of this, and then with my skinny cake, I had maybe half of it left, because it has a lot more yardage in it, though. But that's my foes. Oh, I got one more to show you. I'm following, uh, or trying. I've got to do something else. i got to see what the next thing is. <laughs> I'm uh, following along with um, Seta at Seta's Place. She's doing a crochet along um, making gifts like for the holidays and stuff. So, um, and she's using a calendar to do that. So you'd have to go over and watch that video and, you know, see all the rules and stuff. But one of my first things I made is a set of coasters. She's doing kitchen items, she said. But I've got a purple and yellow, an orange and yellow, pink, and a green teal color. So that's my first little thing. And I need to send her my picture for that. So I don't know that I've wrote. Yeah, that's all on that. So that's my finished objects today. I uh, hope you're got, you guys are having a good week. Um, we're halfway there to the weekend. 
and uh, it's a lot cooler here. Today was really nice. I mean, it was like 79, I think. Uh, this morning it felt cool and it just felt so good. I love fall. So I'm super excited about fall getting here. First day of fall is the 21st, I think. So that's next week. Yay. So, but I, I'll let you go. I love you guys. And uh, please subscribe if you haven't. Thank you if you have. Uh, like my videos. Thumbs up, please. Um, and comment. I love hearing from you guys. And I'll talk to you later in Crystal's Crochet Cubby Hole. Bye for now.